Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Cassidy LeBlanc, and this is the first episode of Consciousness is a Drag. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is a project that I have actually been wanting to do for a really, really long time. I have been seeing so many people out there talking about consciousness, about spirituality, things that I'm really, really interested in. And I thought to myself, you know what? If they can do it out of drag, why can't I do it in drag? So here I am, and we are going to be talking about a special topic that I think everybody could really, really benefit from. And it is being in the eye of the hurricane. Now, what does that even mean? There are hurricanes happening all of the time, honey. In your mind. We have politics on one hand, we have this pandemic on another. All of these shadows from the collective consciousness bubbling up to the surface. It's a dumpster fire. Let's be real. So what I'm going to talk about is some tools to be in the eye of the hurricane as opposed to be being swept up in the chaos. Number one, meditation. You've heard about this friend talking about, oh my God, I love meditation so much. <laughs> I was like, what is this? This is silly. It sounds stupid, right? Well, I've been meditating now for almost a year, fully, every single day, and it has been something that has grounded me so much more than I would ever expect. So what does it do? What does meditation look like? Why is it beneficial? What meditation does it's, is it gets you out of your analytical mind. It gets you out of that frontal cortex brain. Now, where does it bring you? It brings you more into the center of your head. And when you're there, you are in a place of neutrality and peace. Now that is an area in which you can make really great reasoning, you can do healing work on yourself, and you can just create spaciousness for yourself. And when you're creating spaciousness, you're pushing all of those other things away, all of those worries about your job, all of those um, freak outs about what just happened on the news, your fears and anxieties about the pandemic, all of these things that we are constantly bombarded by, we can take a step away for a moment. And that is really, really important, especially during this time to do for your own mental well-being. Number two, get connected to the earth. Earth is everything that we've ever known here on this human plane. She is our giver of life. She is of us. And we are of her. So grounding to the earth is a great way to be in the eye of the hurricane. Now, a few ways to ground yourself with the earth are, number one, just taking a walk in nature. You don't have to be in a rural setting to be with nature. You can go on a walk in the park. Easy as that. That reduces people's stress levels. It's a really, really great way to take a breath, realize that you are of the earth. You are part of something bigger. You ever think about the fact that we are constantly wearing shoes and how that actually is creating a barrier from us and the earth? Now, if we were to connect more to the earth, we could feel more at peace. We could be healed from the earth. There's actual scientific evidence that proves that connecting and grounding yourself to the earth can reduce inflammation in your body. Reduce inflammation in the body. Screw ibuprofen, I'll take the earth. Number three, feel your emotions. I know, right? It's so counterintuitive, especially when we hear from society. Don't listen to those emotions. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We need to listen to our emotions for our own spiritual and physical well-being. Now, what are emotions? Easy as this, energy, in motion. So when we have an emotion, but we hang on to it, we suppress it, we push it down, what we're doing is we are not moving the energy in our bodies. We are holding that energy in. But emotions are energy in motion. 
So they need to be moved. They need to be processed. They need to be felt. If we avoid our emotions time and time again, they start to build up. And that is how we feel chaotic in our bodies and in our mind, in our spirit. We have to listen to our emotions. Now, what does the process of listening to your emotions look like? Well, I feel like it's different for everybody. But for me, a lot of the time, it's checking in with my body. How does my body feel at this moment? Is there any sort of energy that I can notice in my body? I know sometimes when I'm feeling sad, I get a sinking heart feeling. Or when I'm upset about something, maybe a tightness in my throat. Start to gain consciousness and become aware of your emotions and look at them in a non-judgmental, compassionate, loving container. And if you can do that, that's a beautiful way to hold space for your emotions and then allow yourself to feel them. And when you feel them, and that might look like you crying, even being angry, allow yourself to experience that non-judgmentally. And when we experience our emotions, it's just that. It becomes the energy in motion. Or breathing. Now there's one method that you can do that is really, really helpful to start to become more at peace in your body. It's called the four, seven, eight breath. You breathe in for four. and repeat. Doing that is going to help relax your body. And when your body is relaxed, your mind can start to relax. By doing this process, what you're doing is you're becoming more mindful and more present. And when you're more present, you're gonna nail it. You're just gonna nail it, okay? Number five, journaling right? So get things on paper. And I'm not just talking about typing. I'm not talking about talking about it. I'm talking about actually physically journaling your thoughts and your feelings. There's so many times which our thoughts are in our head. And another way to get them out of the body is to physically write them down. Now, I think a lot of times in the spiritual community, what happens is we talk about positivity and everything should be great and everything should be wonderful. But guess what? To be human is to have negative experiences. To be human is to have hard experiences as well. And when we avoid talking about those things, when we avoid writing about those things, when we avoid them entirely, honey, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. They're still there. Journal them down. Just start writing all of those experiences down because when you actually physically write those things down, it creates an outlet for all of those thoughts to be on paper. Okay. Okay, the ambulance is gone now. See, I'm now in the eye of the hurricane. So those are some tips and tricks on what to do when you feel like you're thrusted in the hurricane. Find your way into the eye. And whatever works for you is valid, so keep that in mind. For me, performing is actually a really, really great way of releasing, and it helps me get back into the eye of the hurricane. But everybody's different, so figure out the things that work for you. Because if they work for you, you'll feel it in your body. And everybody's different. So look for that authentic truth in you and go for it. Thank you so much for watching. Consciousness is a drag. I hope to do many more of these. Please like this video. Please share it. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, stay fabulous, sane, and in the eye of the hurricane.